Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so today I just want to go over a quick synopsis of my book, Wet Willie, and also why children should read it. Uh, for starters, Wet Willie takes place in the fictitious rain town, a place that's constantly raining. Now the rain actually symbolizes like sadness, gloom, and all the dismal emotions that we can feel in life. Now the main character, Willie, finds himself in Raintown, that's where he lives, and on the way to school one day, an unfortunate event happens, and this kind of sets the course for the rest of the story. Um, he runs across the school, bullies on the way to school, um, and they instantly start, you know, going after him, picking on him, doing things that bullies do, and that's just the beginning, though, so Willie goes through a a bunch of events and experiences many discomfortable things and embarrassing moments that cause him to really feel mental anguish and pain and sadness. Now, um, the turning point is interesting because it'd be easy for him to just fight back or to say something, but instead he redirects his energy and he gets out of school, he runs home. When he gets home, he notices something. And what he notices ultimately changes the course of the story. And it shows him focusing his mindset on something more productive, more positive. And that outcome gets him to a place called Suntown, where he's handsomely rewarded. And the sun obviously represents happiness, joy, bliss, satisfaction, or all the positive emotions in life. So this is just really a journey from rain to sun or from, you know, sadness to happiness. But the key is Willie was able to create that for himself by being in control of his own thoughts and emotions and by redirecting his energy towards positive things. So this is mostly a book about overcoming bullying, but it's also really for kids to see how we can take really any challenge or like negative situation and turn it into a positive situation just by controlling our thoughts, by controlling what we can control, which is our own emotions and thoughts. Of course, we can never control anybody else's. So Children should read this because learning how to redirect energy is huge because life throws a lot of unfortunate, negative, embarrassing, and uncomfortable moments at us. Now, if we choose to dwell in those moments, we become the victim. But if we're able to redirect our energy to focus on more positive things or things that are more beneficial or things that serve us more then we can actually see progress in a better emotion in our own self. So to go from victim to victor, this journey will help kids realize that it's all within their control and their thoughts and energy and focus really have a huge impact on the quality of their life. So it's my hope that they can really latch on to Willie as their role model and they can follow his journey and realize that they don't ever have to be a victim of negative circumstances, but they can always be a victor and choose to see the positive side of things. So uh, that'll do it for today. I hope you guys grab a copy on Amazon for your children. And uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.